what's going on here. What I'm looking at. Where's my camera? There's my camera. Whoo wee! I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you guys are seeing this here. Um, if anybody's hearing me. <laughs> <laughs> having some technical difficulties trying to get this broadcast going. Um, I'm actually going to set this down. Just want to talk about some social media, and I, I apologize, everybody. This um, um, just not working the way I want it to work. Hey, uh, beads metal, glad you glad you made it out uh, to the cast. What I wanted to talk about today is how to use social media to expand and grow your brand. Um, I had this really cool tripod set up here. I don't know if you can, this thing, and then I forgot my little clippy thing that goes in here. I have no idea where it is, and it was going to be really cool, and I was going to broadcast it and so you could see it and do some presentations up on my monitor, which is sort of behind me over here. And Well, to make a long story short, this little one-by-one -one piece of stuff sort of messed up my day. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about, let me make sure I don't lose power here, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and talk about social media. I just want to say, hey, thanks a lot. Um, for If you haven't been on Periscope before, I haven't been here a while. I apologize. I've been just getting a lot of stuff up and running and going. But I want to talk about social media and how I use it to sort of brand and grow my business. Now, um, this is not a promotion for my business, but I want to give you an idea of just what my business is so that if you have a product or a business, uh, if, you're an, if you're an information marketer, this may not pertain to what I'm going to talk about. Uh, inf information marketing is something that you do online that has no tangible product at all. In other words, you can't physically walk up and hand a piece of information to somebody. Um, somebody just popped in. I'm sorry I missed you. Um, still figuring out the Periscope thing, so I apologize. Test mic one. I can actually, I've got a big monitor up here that I can see. So if I look up, I'm looking at my monitor that's behind my iPad here. Can everybody hear me okay? Um, is the volume up? Can somebody just say yes? Let me see if I can figure out how to get chat up here so I can see it. Give me one second. Let's see. That's swipe down a flip. Um, let's pull down, stop broadcast. We don't want to do that. Um, yes. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Is the volume okay? Yep. Appreciate it. So I'm not going to keep it yet. Just to really appreciate you guys. I'm going to back up a little bit so I don't look like a talking head. Um, actually sitting here in our cool little office that we're working on putting together. Uh, that's just a couple of blocks down. Uh, the street. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, is that test test mic one? Uh, appreciate you uh, stopping by. Like I said, what I'm uh, what I'm going to do is I've actually got my iPhone here, so I might periscope in as myself uh, to talk to myself, so I can see you guys uh, commenting. If that's okay, I'm going to jump on my other uh, Twitter account here real quick and log into Periscope, so I can scope myself. Is that what that was? That's sort of a cool idea, scoping myself. But using social media, I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about that because I don't want you guys just hanging out, um, not getting some information. Um, matter of fact, I need to go ahead and uh, put this on my event that I set up on Facebook really quick to let everybody know that I'm actually live on Periscope. St. Louis is in the house. Uh, Beads Metal. That's really cool. What do you do, Beads Metal? What kind of, do you have a business? Um, I'm just sort of guessing that you make beads out of metal. I don't know. Um, just a, a quick guess there. Where is my, how do you use social media to build your business? This is an event today. And of course we're on, we're using social media and I'm talking about business. So one of the cool things to do on, on social media is just get on and, and, and talk about it. So let me write on here. I am broadcasting, broadcasting. Now, broadcasting now on periscope c o p e hopefully people will find me and then let me put at neon energy s t l neon e n e r g r s t l neon energy s t l I spell that right no i don't want to do that neon energy s t l all right and post so got that out of the way, uh, I just want to talk about um, uh, uh, what's going on with Periscope. Now, like I was saying, if you're an information marketer, this probably won't pertain to you. Manager at a local hobby shop, and I teach jewelry and metalworking classes there as well. Awesome, 
sort of the crafty. That's that's pretty neat. Um, definitely swing by swing by my Facebook page. It's just um, it's Forest. What is my Facebook page? Forest Night. Look me up. My son's out there too. But look look me up. I'm all over Facebook. Find me. Uh, friend me if you're on Facebook, and then we can go. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the hearts. I really appreciate it. Um, just friend me on Facebook and, and drop your business name in there. Share it with me and make sure and just introduce yourself. I, I love doing that for people I meet. So no no problems there. Just don't be spammy about it. Just uh, uh, just drop by and say hi, and um, I'll share your I'll share your business with everybody. But uh, talking about branding your business. So uh, if you're an information marketer, this isn't going to pertain to you. This is about building and you're sharing your brand on social media. I hope this helps some of you guys out. A little bit of backstory on me. I've, uh, I've been in traditional sales a long time, retired from the Navy. I'm 53 years old. I know I don't look like it, but um, and go Broncos, by the way. Um, 53 years old, um, fell in love with social media probably 14, 15 years ago. Started the internet sales in the car business, doing internet marketing and, and automobile sales. And just really, really fell in love with the concept and then got into Twitter. Um, just really fell in love with Twitter marketing and started out with uh, figuring out how to use those 140 characters to market and grow a brand and uh, took off on a, uh, and there was a nutritional drink out that was absolutely horrific. Uh, I'm a multi-level marketer. I love network marketing. I love the idea of it. And again, this isn't to promote my brand. This is to help you guys grow your business because you can do it any any tangible product is what I'm going to talk about. So there's a way to to market without being spammy. There's a really cool way to grow your online social swag. Swagger, is that still a word? Can people still use that? So anyway, talking about uh, marketing uh, your business, uh, going back to talking about Twitter, got into Twitter and figured out how to use that and went from like a thousand people to 15,000 people overnight um, on my huge uh, uh, Twitter account called The Media Dude. It's, I just fell in love with, with social media marketing and then we started working on Facebook and how to brand and market and advertise and promote on Facebook. And as a result, I had this product that was just nasty. It was just this, this nutritional stuff that was made out of some kind of juice and you drank it and just like made your head shrivel up. It was so bad. And I went out and I promoted it on Twitter with some really cool little just 140 characters and it just blew up and sold tons of the stuff and it was just so horrible and people were buying it and ordering it and going through the link and it was really neat my my brand just grew and grew and grew and grew and and things life happened so on and so forth anyway uh back to today um i have a very very all of my all of my business and i shouldn't say all of it about 60 percent of the people that actually come on board my business that are that are promoters come from social media they see my advertising they see my brand they see the customers that we put out there uh, I built an online presence for my wife as well, and we brand it together, and I market, and we promote the team, and we do it as sort of synergistic. So I've got team all over the world right now, which is very, very cool. Um, I really like Drive Dude. Todd, is that you? <laughs> What's going on, Todd? Hey, anyway, um, doing the social media branding, I'm talking about social media uh, a couple of things. One is you've got to be on social media. and You don't have to be on all the social media. Pick out something that works. Um, if you're in love with Instagram or Pinterest or whatever it is, or Twitter or Facebook, I use a combination of Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter because I like the video stuff. So I'll probably take this video, I'll save it to my device, and I'll push it out through YouTube and promote it that way. So if you've got a pen and paper, um, you can take some notes. I'm going to give you some really, really cool tips. Some of you may already know this, um, but to... Uh, one is you've got to have an idea and a plan of what you want to promote. And basically it goes like this. You want to promote something really neat. You want to give somebody some type of motivational, positive stuff. You want to be positive. No negative stuff. If you have a business, don't get on your Facebook page, you know, get in Facebook wars or, or Twitter wars with somebody um, talking about stuff. Now, if you believe in something, you're passionate about something, you want to jump in and make a comment and make it friendly, that's fine. But remember, you're building and growing a business. So, and I'm sorry if I can't see you guys here and I, um, Todd 12, I joined. What is up, Todd? Is that Todd, the Todd I know? Um, anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by, Todd. I really appreciate it. Throw some love over there, drop some hearts um, into the, uh, just tap on the screen. I think it'll throw up a bunch of hearts. That's really cool. I'm really bored. I wish I should have turned on some music in the background so we can get some music going and make this a little more fun horrific. That's a Forestism, if you've never heard that before. Thanks for the hearts. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to get some music going here. We talk about social media marketing. So you've got your brand. Now, one of the one of the, the products that we market is a liquid nutritional 
uh, supplement, energy supplement called Neon. And there's two ways to, to brand this. Is one is you have to have a good online presence. So you can go out and build a Facebook page. Now you don't have to build a web page for your products. Now we have a regular web page that we get for being reps for Neon, which is neat, sort of a corporate thing. But um, what part of town are you in? Live over in Normandy, Vela City area um, is where we where we hang out. So since late since late since St. Louis is, you're I'm by Umsel. Okay, awesome, Todd. Right around the corner. That is very very cool. So uh, as I was saying for the the social media aspect of it, um, in terms of what I do is I post stuff, and a lot of people that you'll hear some different gurus say you shouldn't put your business stuff in your banner up above your Facebook page. Well, I do because I wanted people to know what I do, what I'm passionate about. And I changed it around and I put pictures of me and my bicycle and I put pictures of me and my wife and put pictures of me and my dog and I'll do motivational quotes and motivational um, uh, posts and things like that. And I'll put uh, uh, team member success stories up there and I'll do some product promotionals. So it's all about just having a mix of a little bit of everything. That's really it. It really is that easy, but you've got to be consistent. You can't have your business look like a dollar store unless your business is a dollar store. So if you're if you're in a business, let people know that you're in a business. In the, in, and I'll talk about Facebook a little bit. Make sure people know what you're promoting. So it says you currently work at and put your, your business name up there that links to either a website or another Facebook page that you've got. Um, if you have multiple social properties, promote your stuff all over the place because pe different people are going to be attracted to different things. Um, there's some really cool tips you can advertise on Facebook. We're not going to talk about that right now. Oh, by the way, go Broncos. Um, but in terms of what you're doing, some people don't. Some people recommend not linking your Twitter account to your Facebook page because it looks a little bit different. If you have a Twitter account, some people post directly into Twitter to make it look real live. Uh, and, and more authentic, you can do that as well. So there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can link them together. You can share your YouTube channel directly into your Twitter account. So when you do a YouTube channel, it automatically pushes over to Twitter. Or you can do them all three separately. It just depends on how you personally want to do it. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. Post on Twitter, post on Facebook, post on YouTube. Post on YouTube, post on Facebook, post on Twitter. It really doesn't matter. If you have Instagram and and uh, Pinterest and those things and you like those, go in and use Instagram. Some people use Instagram to me. I'm still haven't quite wrapped my head around Instagram because it's so in a box and it, I, I don't know. I just, I'm just not getting it. Um, uh, you can do really short videos on Instagram as well. It's just, it's, it's weird. It's, um, I just, I'm just not quite getting my head around it. So I'm not going to go into that, but with Twitter marketing, Twitter, uh, the average Twitter follower, has, the average Twitter user has about 230 followers. So if you can go out there and you inquire, you know, 15 or 20, a thousand followers into your underneath your Twitter brand and there's some really cool ways to do that so here's some really cool ways to get some Twitter followers if you're on Twitter um, simply go out and do some cool little tweets that says tweet somebody you love tweet somebody a hug tweet somebody who loves the Broncos tweet if you love the Broncos tweet if you love uh, the Panthers whatever it is go out and do some really cool tweets that people are going to share try not to put a lot of uh, remarketing or ha um, URLs or business links in them, do some stuff, tweak some posts, take a picture of your dog, put that on Twitter and post that. And your goal is to find people that like stuff that like you. And it really doesn't matter what you're selling, whether it's a nutritional drink, um, roofing, roofing tiles, roofing nails, uh, whatever it is, if people like you and they see that you're a normal person and that you've got normal stuff going on and then you also have a business, which there's a lot of people that do, so it's okay to own a business and like dogs. It's okay to own a business and like the Broncos. It's okay to own a business and have a normal life. So you don't always have to be pushing your product on people, but if people like you and like what you're talking about, they're probably going to buy your stuff from you. So let's talk about uh, sort of two-sided branding. So you've got all your branded stuff out there. So you've got Neon Energy St. Louis, for example. I've got Neon Energy St. Louis as my uh, Facebook page. I've got ne Neon Energy STL as my Twitter account. I've got a Neon Energy YouTube channel. I've got a Neon Energy St. Louis uh, 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 webpage. So I've got all of that stuff out there. So when I'm out there branding, I'm handing out my business card and I'm handing out samples it makes it really, really easy for somebody to go find me in St. Louis and say, hey, this guy has a reputable brand. He's doing reputable marketing. Um, 
make sure you tag yourself in everything you do. So every time I do a neon post somewhere, I do a neon video, I will tag myself. So if somebody says, hey, who is this Forest Night guy? They can go out and search for me and they can find me and they're going to see all the stuff that I'm associated with. So make sure that you tag yourself in all the promotional stuff that you're doing wherever you tag that. Um, not going to keep everybody too long, so I just want to throw out those tips to you. Again, make sure you post fun stuff about yourself. Uh, post fun stuff about other people. Uh, go in and comment on other people's stuff. Uh, do promotional uh, tweets. You can do them in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. You can be consistent. The same thing on Facebook. Do your posts in the morning, afternoon, and evening. You can schedule those posts if you like to. Uh, if you're into YouTube, do occasional videos and push those over to Twitter and Facebook if you're on Instagram. But just be consistent throughout the day putting your stuff out there and people will start to see what you're doing. You have to believe in what you're doing and you have to let people know that's what you're doing. If you jump from one thing to the next 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 thing because you don't have anybody, it takes thousands and thousands of people to see your stuff and most people have to see your stuff at least eight times uh, before they believe uh, that you're actually doing something. So this is Forrest over at Neon Energy Club in St. Louis. I hope this information has helped you guys out. Have an awesome, awesome year and Go Broncos.